Welcome back. Uh, let's get chatting with the management of TCI Express. We do have with us uh, Chandra Agarwal. Uh, the stock has been largely flattish right now, but you know it has been off highs as well. But uh, a lot of activity around the logistics space which is taking place. Uh, Chandar Agarwal uh, is with us. Chandar, you know, uh, how have business trends been in the third quarter? Just wanted to understand from an industry standpoint, there has been a jump in eBay bill generation, etc. But not as much as one was expecting in the third quarter to be as against uh, a quarter on quarter trend for the second quarter. And now with uh, fog and all those environment related concerns, around with regards to mobility. Has there been any sort of slowdown, slump or uh, anything that you've witnessed? So, you know, uh, typically in the month of uh, uh, October is uh, the Diwali season where we see uh, an uptake in business. And post that in November, we see a reduction in business and that's like a cyclical uh, trend which happens. And, uh, but uh, there is nothing which has been seen unusual uh, uh, like, you know, in a slow, uh, which is moving slowly as compared to the other times. And even for the month of December, I think uh, things are quite uh, in shape as what I had uh, said earlier. Okay, so things are in shape in the month of December. The, the entire quarter has been decent, uh, according to you, Chandar? Uh, yes, but I can't really talk about it because, uh, uh, you know, about the we have the uh, board meeting coming up. No, yes. But I can fairly... I can fairly tell you that uh, the uh, economy is uh, uh, is in the right uh, progressive path that it should be in. Okay, so which are, of course, I, I would like some qualitative data as well here because you're talking about your board meet uh, getting held sometime in next month as well. Can you tell us which are the sectors which are contributing to the growth that we are seeing in economic activity and particularly for your own company as well? So definitely the uh, auto components, uh, you know, pharmaceuticals and uh, the engineering uh, goods, they're, they're, they're on the uh, top of the, uh, of the heap. And uh, I, I'm not seeing any sort of like reduction in that uh, pan India. So, uh, and even the uh, verticals that we're in, uh, besides these, uh, there has been a, a decent growth uh, compared to, you know, last year. And uh, in general, uh, like I said, the economy is uh, definitely moving in the right direction. You also cater to a lot of, uh, you know, uh, small and medium enterprises in terms of businesses, SMEs, etc. What has been uh, the trend out there in terms of business and their business contribution to you? That also has been growing uh, progressively and uh, I'm quite uh, happy to say that they have been uh, part of the uh, overall growth strategy also for us and that has worked really well. So uh, there has been no sort of like slowdown in, in that front at all. Hmm. Okay. So uh, we have spoken to you about Rail Express also being a contributor for you. Uh, you did say last time that customers have grown from 250 to 1000. Going forward, uh, say in FY24, FY25, when we are talking about this big boom as far as economic activity is concerned, how big of a contributor can this be? If you have any um, uh, prospects in order to, how much can you add uh, in this segment? So we would definitely like to go uh, for it to reach up to almost 2.5% uh, to 3% of the uh, top line. And uh, what it requires is, uh, of course, uh, the economy to play well. Uh, and uh, in general, the acceptance of the product has come really well. So it's not like, you know, we have to make massive investments of any sort. We're just uh, uh, piggybacking on the uh, same network that we have. And I think eventually uh, this will really uh, turn out to be a, a highly profitable segment also. All right, Rail will be about 25 to 3% of your business. You had uh, guided for a larger contribution coming from the businesses that you entered recently, all the new age businesses. Chandar, you know, one thing uh, that really stands out is... Uh, that e-commerce still accounts for just 5% of your sales, e-commerce priority, etc. And you haven't been, uh, you know, actively looking to increase that. This compared with all the other players who are looking at the glitzy, glamorous world of e-commerce and uh, growing or promising fast growth out there. These can be new age companies. They can also be traditional companies looking at the express parcel delivery, etc. Why is it that you don't uh, get tempted to look at this business? 
So <clears throat> just to add to uh, previously what I had said, uh, the two and a half percent is just for rail. Hmm. So overall, we are seeing about twenty five percent, twenty percent of uh, uh, almost uh, uh, sorry five percent of the overall revenue coming from new products. So uh, so three would three percent of uh, that five percent would just be rail. Is what I was trying to say. So, getting to your question on the uh, e-commerce, it's a very interesting segment because, you know, in India we don't really have <clears throat> the demand hasn't take, taken off the way it should have, and the cost is still quite high in terms of delivery, uh, and that has not come down. So, we do not have the option of getting economies of scale uh, in uh, e-commerce, and of course, uh, investments are very high. So what it overall means is that uh, the profitability is going to be very less or negative uh, in, uh, for that matter. And I'm not saying that uh, it's the question of it now. Ever since it has happened, ever since uh, e-commerce has started in India from 2012, it's the same story. It's been 10 years. Uh, no company has ever made any profit in this. So I think <clears throat> till the scale really uh, grows is when we will see the uh, business being more lucrative for us. So, are you saying that uh, the ones who are doing this business, uh, uh, you know, irrespective of the scale that they've grown to, will always be struggling with profitability going forward? I mean, uh, just trying to understand from uh, an industry standpoint. Absolutely. I mean, if you compare, uh, you know, the economies of uh, like likewise economies <clears throat> like Japan or even Germany or uh, UK. Uh, the value what you get for per delivery of a of an e-commerce consignment is ten times higher than what you get here. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. Yeah. So that uh, itself is a major hindrance for it to kind of, you know, uh, for e-commerce to grow in India. And uh, I think uh, the pricing uh, will never be ten times how it is in those countries because no one will actually ever use that in, uh, over here. Uh, India being so price sensitive. So uh, when that is the case, I don't see that in the near time it will uh, offer a good opportunity for DC Express to enter e-commerce. Right. Uh, and finally, before we let you go from a medium to long term standpoint, you opened 22 new branches in the first half of this year. Uh, your Gurgaon Sorting Center also came on board. You have uh, you know purchased uh, land for Kolkata as well. 500 crore worth capex that you have over the next few years. What does all of this mean in terms of structurally improving your margins and uh, revenue prospects? Um, I have said this earlier also that, um, you know, EBITDA can go up to 25% also once the automated centers all come in, uh, in stream in the next four or five years. So it's only a matter of time. Uh, and uh, I think uh, the overall idea is not just to increase EBITDA, but also to have <clears throat> customer satisfaction. Um, and overall, uh, this will lead to a top line growth, also higher top line growth. So uh, it, we, we were looking at three things at the same time. And uh, I think it's quite uh, possible for us to achieve. Looking for any acquisitions? I mean, uh, I'm sure you always are considering some, but in what spaces, if at all? So here uh, in India, it's kind of uh, difficult to find any company which is, you know, uh, very, uh, uh, which has good corporate governance and all of these uh, issues. Uh, so I, I, I mean, I, uh, I have studied the market in and out for twenty years, and uh, uh, I don't think there is anything which is uh, uh, that would uh, excite TCI Express at the moment. Okay, on the new. All right. Okay, Chandar, thank you so much for joining us and taking us through the plans for the business and the outlook for the economy generally that impacts your business as well. Let's slip into a short break. We'll get you more on the markets and stock specific action on the other side. Stay tuned.